Hey guys, it's Panda, and I'm just doing a really quick little uh, craft slash decor project before I do some chores. And I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm replacing the picture on my desk um, in the picture frame, and I'm also going to replace these other picture frames that I had these uh, Halloween cereal boxes in for a while. Um, I just got these magazines recently in the last couple months and I wanted to put some of the pictures up. Um, I've always been one of those kind of, when I was a teenager, I was into Hanson a lot and also a couple of their like actors, teen teenage actors, um, and, uh, had some posters up on my wall when I was, uh, you know, like 14 and then I grew into, um, like big posters like the rollout ones and then also like x files and stuff i was into but so i only decorate now like ad like mostly like adults do as you guys know i had my game of thrones set up here and then i kind of just changed it into a steampunk kind of thing even though i have a lot of bright colors on it right now um and so i wanted to put some pictures and some frames so it looks better so I was thinking, uh, I got this Vogue magazine yesterday because it was way cheaper than like all the other magazines I usually get. Um, and I'm kind of into Billie Eilish right now and I have been for about a year, but I think she's awesome and unique, uh, music artist. And I love that she has ASMR type music that I really got into. Um, and then as you know, I'm a huge Greta Thunberg fan and... I am planning on making um, a painting kind of banner type of thing with this on it that she's always holding when she does her marches. So I'm going to put like, probably going to be, it's it's going to be black or something though, and I'm going to make different colored paint on it. Um, but I'm also trying to get some pictures of her up. So I got this magazine on eBay because I thought when I first saw the cover that it was um, a U.S. magazine because I used to get wired all the time and I was like, why didn't I see that before? I am pissed that I missed it, missed out on getting it, and I never saw it available before. And then I saw this picture online and um, was kind of mad that I missed it, but then I found it on eBay and I did pay a little bit for it, but um, I'm really like collecting magazines and every so often I'll get one that's, you know, $12 or $15 or whatever. So I just got this, um, like two months ago and I, I used the cover on my phone as my wallpaper. And I'm also going to put this picture on my desk in this picture frame that I'm using because it's, um, one of my favorite ones and there's also nothing on the back that I care about. So what I'm going to be doing is, um, because I'm always worried about making it even and having it as close to the edge as possible, uh, I'm actually going to be using this uh, razor blade to cut it with. And I actually found a, um, I found a pack of these at my mom's apartment when I was cleaning. And I uh, decided to bring it home and look it up on eBay. But I saw how awesome these are. Like, I'm kind of morbid in that I really like the way these look and feel and stuff. So, I, I'm thinking about making some jewelry out of them, maybe. Or if they're, you know, if they're not worth selling or whatever. But it, you can hardly tell. It's like almost a black. It's like a really dark bluish gray color. And it has Gillette on it and really weird, like, old-fashioned font. Um, and so I'm going to be using that to really carefully cut out these pages that I'm going to use. And I was thinking uh, when I bought this one that it's like an adult um, version of a poster magazine like we used to get when we were teenagers. You know, like the Tiger Beat one uh, I used to get with Hanson in it. And I, at first, was looking at it to see if it was worth getting because usually the pages I want aren't very many, um, but then I was flipping through it and I saw that they actually have, I'm going to turn that off, it's too hard to see, they actually have um, a few different posters of her in here that are alternate covers, I guess, um, so that's pretty cool because they're better, better pictures to hang up than the cover is, and I was kind of 
depressed a little bit if I can find it because there's so many pages of ads in here now. Like I have to find the page that has the first print on it, which is really far in here. That's oh by the way, isn't that um the girl from Euphoria? I forget her name right off the top of my head because I know it starts with an X or something, but she's pretty cool too. And I always think some of these, these a lot of these styles that are on these ads are so ugly, by the way. Um, but yeah, this I don't really like this kind of a magazine because of all the ads are annoying. There's way too many ads. And they're all, of course, anorexic, like not even remotely healthy size. And I know I have no way to speak to that because I'm obese, but still, you can... <laughs> A lot of people agree they're they're too skinny. Um, especially if I can find the other one I wanted to show. Now, okay, here's... I didn't see this part yet, but... Apparently they had these different covers. This is... Okay, these are the other covers that I sh showed you just now. But the part I did see a, um, earlier was... Uh, right here. Where um, it's... The letter from the editor page... But it says um, at the beginning here, there were three covers, each shot by a different artist. And I was like, oh my god, I didn't see any other covers when I got this, because I didn't really look. But this one right here, if that had been a cover, I would kill for that, because that is an awesome picture, and I wish I had that one as a poster, because that's like my favorite one. By the way, there's a perfume sample in here. I already took it out, but it reeks so bad, it makes me want to gag right now. They put some, oh, it smells like bug spray, like legit smells like bug spray when I open this thing. Oh my god, since when is that like a, a thing people wear? Holy crap, that is overpowering. I already took it out, but it's like really strong. But anyway, those are <laughs> cool pictures. Better than the cover, I think. I think this should have been a cover. Um, but they then I was looking for the regular article part. And by the way, I also love that they have this diverse sizes thing. I guess this is probably the biggest one in this picture. Yeah. And then I saw this page back here. Um, I was like, okay, this is supposed to be them pretending like they're into bigger sizes. So this girl is like probably an 8, maybe a 10 maybe a 12 with her legs being so wide but literally these are not like fat girls to me they're probably normal like normal sized average sized women but considering in this country and a lot of modern countries now normal is more like them and then there's a lot of people that are bigger than them but yet every single time there's a magazine it's got to be these anorexic or at least really skinny women and it's depressing because I mean I know I also don't agree with how much glorification there is about obesity in in like when they do put a fat girl on a cover it's like oh my god we're being so inclusive about body positivity and everything I'm like yeah okay so there's people who can't help it and are fat because they can't help it um, and then there's people who are just fat because they're actually have an eating problem and actually are too lazy to exercise. And I think we should be doing both sides, you know, like not just saying, oh, body positivity, no matter what size you are. We still have to be careful about if you can afford to be healthy, you better fucking be healthy because you, you're lucky if you can afford to be healthy in this day and age because if I could afford to be healthy and eat nothing but fresh produce and fresh you know um made homemade like soup and whatever I would be over the moon about that because I am so entirely sick of junk food even though that's all I buy because when you go to the store like 90% of what I can afford is junk nothing like I, I found blueberries on sale at the store last, uh, about two weeks ago, um, at Aldi for $1.50 a carton, and I literally bought, like, six cartons because I was so thrilled that I found them so cheap, and they were actually good ones. They're not, like, the little, 
hard, uh, red, sour, crappy ones. So I bought as many as I could at the time, which I would always do if I could find them really cheap. And then they were gone within two weeks because I love them so much. But legit, if I could afford that and if there was an indoor pool within a mile of my apartment, I would be so much better off right now. And that's the problem because that's the way it is for a lot of us. Like if I was physically able to ride a bike all the time or walk all the time, I'd probably be doing that too. But it's so hard when every time every time I do anything, like even just housework for a day, I am so worn out for like three days after that. Because it's not just because I'm out of shape. It's be I mean, I was before I was out of shape, I became debilitated. Because before I was debilitated, I was into rollerblading, biking, basketball, swimming, gymnastics, all that stuff. And then I became debilitated. So for a lot of us, it's more like we just can't help it. And it's kind of depressing to not see that, you know, reflected. Considering how many people in America are sick and disabled nowadays. Um, but anyway, let's get to the main article. I like that they put this in here. Jane Fonda fighting for the climate thing. That's pretty cool. Considering they're all about, you know expensive, overpriced, ugly, overproduced fashion, <laughs> I guess, including leather handbags and making a magazine that's 80% ads. That's pretty stupid. But anyway, moving on, I'm going to find the poster pages that I want to get. I'm thinking, I'm debating if I should get the ones out of the front and just use those. Because they're available easier. They won't ruin the article and everything. But I'm going to see if there's any I can put on the... I'm not using my mic right now, by the way, if my audio is bad. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm trying to hurry it along here. There it is. So I can finish my chores before it gets dark. So this is a pretty decent sized article for the price of the magazine. So that's why I got it. They have this oil painting style picture. I'm not really thrilled with that one. Um, not really thrilled with that one. I like this one. This is one I would probably have hung on my wall when I was younger. Uh, I like her fashion style. It's pretty much the same as mine, at least in this one. Um, and this one's kind of cool, but it's also not the right size. I'm not sure if I want to use it. I'll probably just use the cover ones yeah you these aren't really usable for but i do have another magazine that's ugly by the way this is the kind of thing vogue is known for these ugly unrealistic like really obviously that's just an art piece kind of thing like nobody would actually wear that oh here we go okay now we're talking i love these i love this one especially because it's the same picture it's actually like a colored pencil style um, like brush strokes kind of thing. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like the watercolor filter on my old Photoshop program I used to use, but it's, um, less watercolor than the other one I showed. It's, it's, um, but she's wearing the same thing as she was in the black and white picture that I really like. So I really want to use this one. I also like this one a lot. Um, so I'm going to probably flip back and forth and try and decide which ones I want to use for, because I could use that one easily, because there's nothing on the back that I care about. And this one's part of the article, so I probably won't take that one out. But, um, yeah. So I'll probably use this one and then one of the other ones. Or I'm going to look through my other magazine also to see if there's any in there, because I have, let me grab it. I have this that I got for really cheap on eBay. I think I only paid the cover price. No, I, I only paid like $9 for this. So I only paid, I paid less than the cover price. I don't know why it was so cheap. Because it was brand new. But this is, this one it has a lot of awesome pictures in it. But they're not really the kind you can tear out. Because they're like double page. Or, or half page or something like this. So it's a good one to look at, I guess. But it's hard to find some that you could tear out. Sorry about my fat hand in the picture. 
Um, <laughs> I like all these like sayings and stuff. I wish I could take them all out and put them up as a double page thing. But that's what, like I'm trying to stay away from just hanging up pinups and stuff because I don't want to be, um, you know, a teenager or whatever. <laughs> This is weird. I was thinking like I'm kind of getting into her too much for being that I'm almost twice her age. But at the same time, I'm not really, I never really matured socially or really, I mean, emotionally, it's kind of hard to say because I'm, as far as I've been through more than anybody even remotely close to my age um, in this country anyway. And like, I've been through a lot more to say that I'm more mo more mature than a teenager, but at the same time, I kind of um, paused on my, like, age 15, 16 when I started having all the back surgeries and kind of became socially and emotionally stunted a little bit from that and just never had a social life or a regular life. So I kind of am not really... <sighs> I'm not really mature as as grown up as people my age are, but I'm, um, you know, it's hard to say. It's hard to explain when you're when you're sheltered and kind of a hermit your whole life, and you're in a, you're a lab rat your whole life. It's kind of hard to be socially uh, mature. I guess this kind of weird style. Like some of it is my style. Like that one is my style. Although I don't like wearing hot things like a hat but um I wear baseball hats all the time um I used to I used to have poofy jackets when in the 90s like this is kind of my style except I wouldn't show my fat stomach <laughs> like um she reminds me of Janelle Monet here because Janelle had that on in her music video this is like way too far for me right here I don't like the whole full mask thing that she's got this is my style right here like baggy, baggy shorts, baggy t-shirts, baggy jeans. Um, but anyway, I see some in here that could be used, but I'm thinking about sticking to the ones that, there we go. This is way too far. And then she's got like fur pants. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, she was talking about her hair being like this. This purplish gray color is kind of what I wanted to go for when I tried coloring my hair last. Um, and I actually bleached it twice and tried using that purplish gray hair color that's out. Even even though it got bleached into a, a, a yellow pale blonde color, it still didn't go on right. It still only went on as a patchy kind of yellowish gray and it didn't stick whatsoever to my hair so I had to like color it dark a dark color and then let it grow out because it just didn't work um and I had to like I don't think I tried another color after that but I I'm gonna just stick to the red one that I know that works because I've tried a bunch of times um the the red splat color some I've tried the purple splat once or twice too but the red one looks the best on me um, I think she looks really good with that grayish hair, though. I like that. But anyway, I am going... That's a pretty good one. I don't want to go cutting up the cover, though. The back or the front. I don't want to ruin it. But anyway, I'm going to cut out the... Uh, um, Greta page and put that in and do these other ones. And then i got to vacuum and take a shower. So I just wanted to do a quick update, you guys. I'm going to do an update on my vlog, my regular life vlog again. And then I've got my one I did last night or the night before to upload. So I'll be doing that pretty soon. And I have my sewing machine out so I can do my my uh, Bernie hoodie that I haven't done yet that I really, 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 really need to do because in less than a month is the Michigan primary. So I really need to start wearing that. <laughs> So I'm going to try and get that done as soon as possible. And so that's, I've got a lot going on my plate right now. But I will be updating again later about everything. So thanks for watching. Peace out.